Hello, myself, Dr. Manjit Patil, consultant plastic and cosmetic surgeon working at Astra Harvey Hospital, JP Nagar, first phase. So today I'll be discussing about aesthetic genital surgery. Yes, it is the cosmetic surgery of the genitalia. So what exactly it is done? Someone who is seeking improvement in uh, appearance of their genitalia, either it could be uh, vagina or the penis, in those cases these surgeries are done. So it could be done even for the certain problems also say in case of a woman who is having a constant irritation because of the bigger uh, labia minora in those cases also we offer a surgery something called as a labia reduction so it can be done for the functional reason also and not necessarily the cosmetic so what all procedures we do for the aesthetic genital surgery so we do a uh, reduction as well as the enhancement of the labia majora and most of the time we do a reduction of labia minora someone who has got asymmetrical labia minora or someone is not happy with a bigger labia minora or some uh, someone has a larger labia minora which is uh, limiting their physical activity and a pain and irritation in them we can do a reduction of labia minora and along with this we do a also a procedure called as a clitoral hood reduction which is generally done in conjunction with labia minora reduction wherein the excessive fold overlying the clitoral hood is reduced. The other cosmetic surgeries done in case of females is reduction of the mons. Some of the females will have a excessively large mons that can be because of excessive skin also or the excessive skin along with the fat both can be corrected. The next cosmetic surgery done in case of females is the vaginal tightening or so called vaginoplasty. So this is the one more procedure done in case of aesthetic female genitalia. So in case of labia majora either reduction or enhancement or in case of labia minora it is predominantly uh, reduction surgeries in case of monsplasty we may uh, reduce the size of the mons which is the hair bearing area and uh, the next one is vaginoplasty wherein we do a after the child but most of the women uh, who are seeking this vaginal tightening are the post delivery patients so they want improvement in their vagina so in those cases we do a something called as a vaginal tightening so what exactly is done will uh, bring the separated muscle closer on the along the posterior wall of the vagina and also will remove the excess uh, mucosa along the posterior wall of the vagina so that the uh, there will be a proper vaginal tightening whatever laxity was there uh, post childbirth can be corrected with this vaginal tightening So discuss with uh, your plastic surgeon what exactly improvements you want, whether you want improvement in labias or in case of mons or in case of vagina. Based on that, discuss the different treatment options, discuss about the type of surgeries we offer, the one which is more suitable, the type of anesthesia and the risk involved in it. These things are discussed. Based on that, we can decide. And once if you decide upon the surgery, you have to have a consultation with anesthesiologist, get a pre-anesthetic checkup done and few lab tests and go ahead with the surgery. So most of uh, these surgeries will have certain uh, pain, some swelling, bruising around the operated area, most of which will subside in a matter of a week or two and you can start all your routine was going to office and all in a matter of a week so recovery will be good so the next another common topic is there are certain procedures done in males also which we call as the aesthetic genital surgery for the males so what exactly we do some uh, we can increase the length of the penis or increase the girth of the penis and we also come across one more entity called as a buried penis so even that can be corrected. So what exactly we do in case of buried penis? The buried penis is because of a condition where there is an excessive fat deposition or excessive skin fold 
above the penis wherein we can do a paniculectomy or we may do a liposuction or we may excise a part of the skin we do will be unburying the penis so that it looks better or you may uh, release certain ligaments which is holding the penis back so that the uh, penis can be unburied.